What's up guys, the Pocket here and in this video I'm gonna show you the top the top features on iOS 9 and also some other features that are not very cool. So let's get started. So iOS 9 has been released about one day ago and it came with some new features and it's very cool actually. And some features are not that useful but others are very useful on your daily use. So let's get started. So if I double click my home button, I'm gonna see that Apple has changed the the layout on the apps that are, that are running on background and to delete them I'm gonna slide them over and over and they will be delete not deleted they will shut down. So Let's move on notes. I'm gonna show you the new uh, quick quick type uh, keyboard. So this is just a test that I have done, and what look how cool it is. Um, and so with the, the, your two fingers, you're moving the cursor on your iPad, your Apple device, and I'm gonna set it right here. I'm gonna double tap, and I'm gonna select this text. I'm gonna hit the, the scissors, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna move, sorry, and I'm gonna move it, the cursor, right here, I'm gonna hit the car, the scissors, and I'm gonna hit the button, and it just, it has pasted right here. And if you want to add a check mark on your text, you just hit this check mark right here, and the text has been added with a check mark. Pretty cool, right? Also, you can add a picture right here. I'm gonna hit the camera. I'm gonna choose a photo from the library. Photos theme. And of course, I have added a picture on the on notes. And if you, if you want to delete it, just hit the back button and your photo will be deleted. So that was a, a quick review of the quick type and of the notes app. Also of course to tell you this is an attachment that you have previously added on notes. And yep that was quick type and notes app. And let's move on the music app. So Apple has made changes on music app as you can see and and we saw these changes on iOS 8.4 beta but actually Apple has the doesn't have the uh, the original I, uh, iOS 0.4 has only the beta version and what you do right here you just hit for example for a to hear a song and when you hit a song an Apple sorry you just have all the songs right here and you see you select that and you hear on the song so actually that was a small change on music app but I'm not gonna say a big change but but Apple had just changed the the uh, the design of the music app also another cool feature that Apple has just add on iOS 9 is the the path the, the power saving mode that actually saves about one to two hours on iOS 9 and this is very cool on on Apple device because actually Apple has because Apple has said said that many 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 users are going to dis they disabling all the features on their Apple device and, and yep they actually added an, a button on your Apple device which just said which you, you click on that and saves about one to two hours of battery life. Unfortunately, this feature is not available on my device because this feature actually reduces the uh, speed of your Apple device and of course the speed of the background apps and all of the stuff. And actually, if the feature was on were on my iPad, and this won't be able to save a lot of battery because actually my iPad is actually very slow, it's a no device and that's why there isn't the feature available on my iPad. Another new feature of iOS 9 is 
the news app but unfortunately on iPad isn't available. So what you do on it, you just click on the hit on the app and you enter the app and then you will see all the news that you have. Unfortunately it's not available on iPad. Also uh, the Apple has released a new and a very 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 cool app which is called a multitasking and unfortunately isn't available on my iPad because isn't because actually due to its low uh, memory and this stuff and what you do you enter the app and then you slide just like that and you will see a window right here and it will, it will tell you which app you will want to um, you will want to choose and you will see, you will have one app right here one app right here and the main app that you choose recently here for example here will be notes and if I choose Safari Safari app will be right here and you can resize them and this is very cool because if you're on Safari and you enter a link and if you want to uh, to add the link on the notes to remember that you just well going to copy the link and you're gonna paste the link right here and also even you can paste a photo on notes to remember that and also even you can watch a video and you can um, you can add, add adding notes on you can add notes at the same time so look how very cool is that and even you can uh, listen to a video while you're doing a while you are using your iPad without uh, having the app open look how, how cool is that also on the camera not some main changes right here only the HDR I think it's a small change but I really don't know what is HDR sorry guys also on the video not so many changes not so many changes not so many changes and yep so that was the top feature of on iPad I hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel to watch my latest video tutorials and also make sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page to watch my latest activity and my latest uploads thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you next time